So, absolute sins for you guys this week. This week we're going savory and going for more for a, like a muffin or an omelet. Um, absolutely full of fresh vegetables. Got some meat in there too, and obviously eggs, so very high in protein. Do have a bit of fat in there this week. Um, so if you don't like that, you can just leave out the ingredients that, uh, that do consist of the fat. And uh, in terms of when this, uh, when this meal is appropriate, um, I've had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's perfect anytime. Um, also great for on the go or like a mid-afternoon snack. All right, let's get to it. So into a hot fry pan, we've got three rashers of bacon and half a cup of grated sweet potato. We'll also chuck in a little bit of garlic as well as a small bird's eye chili. Now we're gonna cook that up until the sweet potato softens and the bacon browns. So once we're happy with how this one's cooked, we're gonna set it aside and allow it to cool down a little bit. So into a mixing bowl, we're gonna put six eggs. In goes half a cup of milk. And we're just gonna whisk those together, just to combine it. So into our egg is gonna go medium grated carrot, as well as a medium grated zucchini. Half a cup of corn. A cooled down sweet potato and bacon mixture. Half a cup of self-raising flour. Half a cup of grated cheese. Fresh pepper. Now you can leave the next two out if you like, but I just like it to add a bit of extra bitiness and uh, spice to the dish. Some Parmesan cheese. and a little bit of paprika. Now all we do is combine those, mix them all up. You can always add a bit of extra milk or egg if you like, if you feel it's too dense on vegetables. And then into our muffin trays. So these are gonna go into our oven at 180 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. And what they're gonna do, they're gonna rise up like a muffin would and go golden brown on top. And that's when you know they're done. So quick, fresh, high protein, and with bacon. What more could you want? Give it a try out. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. And as usual, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.